Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to the Ta Maintenance YouTube channel. Look at this gorgeous 2008 Toyota Tacoma pre-runner two-wheel drive with 135,000 miles on the odometer. The owner loves this truck with a bunch of improvements. 2019 wheels, if I'm correct. Look at these tires. Look at these tires. I can't stop staring at those. Absolutely gorgeous. He upgraded suspension, I believe. Right? Bilstein or Bilstein. In the back, in the front. And he just called and said, Hey, I'm ready for that brake job because I was driving over the hills back home and the steering wheel while braking started shaking so I want to have the brake job on the front the pads are still okay but the rotors are probably warped and let's go and take care of it so I gave him a price for it and I said of course that's in the case I will be able to turn them down on the brake light. This is what I always try to do for you, for the owners. I don't see no point when the rotors are beefy and they are OEM Toyota. I don't see no point replacing them with some aftermarket stuff which we don't know what the quality up to what quality it was made and what material, what grade of the metal was used in production of those brake rotors. So basically that will be kind of my rule that I try to save you money and also I want to keep on your vehicle those quality OEM parts. And it's very easy for me to use my brake light which is right here in the shop I filmed it for you many times. I even did, did a two-part video how to use this whole thing. It's a AccuTurn 8944. And today the vehicle was dropped off. That's what we discussed. Meanwhile, I finished another vehicle which was here, a Tundra, also for the brake inspection and brake fluid flush. And I finally removed the rotor and I can see I removed the other wheel too I will just show you in a second and uh, I can see and you will hopefully agree with me that I have to break my own rule and get rid of these so what are the reasons as I was removing the parts I immediately saw that whoever did this brake job used the super high quality select ceramic brake pads from the aftermarket but look they are very thick and I can tell you these pads are really good so I don't see a reason that these failed but I can see do you see these circles it's, they're not really grooves it's more like a circles so we can see that heat circles that's a number one. It's always a problem in this shop with the light. I still didn't figure out how to take care of this. So, number one, heat damage on this rotor. Number two, the thickness. I measure it and it's pretty close. It's still above the minimum thickness, but it's pretty close. So look at these heat circles on the rotor. That definitely reason to not turn them now if you look in this cooling fins this rotor actually has extreme heavy rust in all the areas where the pets are not touching the rotor so if you consider this if you see that is it visible right now I believe it is but also if you look in these fins Maybe right there, yes. You see how much rust is on them. So
So, no matter what you want to save some money to the customer, I believe you will agree that it's time to do it right. Another item. When I ordered the new set, I'm ordering these pins. These pins also have a lot of rust. They can be cleaned with this, for example. I just did it for the other person on inspection when, where I took everything apart, I perfectly polished her pins. So the pads in these areas can nicely sliding there and back. So that's another thing to deal with. This here is the anti rattle spring that's not broken, that's fine. Securing little clips, that's fine. Let me show you the other area and we will see if you will agree with me. Oh, how to get rid of that glare that shine? Maybe that that's helpful. Again, I'm sorry, this is challenging to film it, but I hope you see all these heat spots, and I will not call it heat spots, it's a heat circles, correct? So it doesn't matter, the pads are almost like brand new on the thickness, it's correctly installed. These routers, basically, so better days, and I hope you will agree that I should break my own rule and just get rid of those. Here it's again that front suspension upgraded. He was concerned about the original which was there. Also he had that limp, that Tacoma, how you call that Tacoma limp, that this side was a little bit lower. So he invested in these and now he's super happy with this choice. If you ever do these jobs yourself and you have that rust on that router, don't forget that most likely you will have the same rust on the hub. So don't just make a mistake of buying brand new shiny routers. This all needs to be perfectly cleaned, that there are not the high spots from that rust. And only after the hub is perfectly clean, we can install those brand new routers. Now the surface on that hub is straight and it's ready to accept that brand new rotor. Speaking about the rotors, look how gorgeous they are when they are new. The note for those who will do this at home, they are covered with a very fine film of the oil oily residue that's obviously for shipping and storage so they don't start rusting that needs to be removed before installation so make sure before you put new rotors and pads on it and start going for that braking procedure test drive before you install it just use the brake clean and make sure there's not that oily residue on these brand new routers. And let me show you the results finish on this side. So we have brand new router. I'll just put some anti-seize between the hub and the router. We have uh, new pads. We have uh, new pins. I have them in the stock. They didn't come with the brake pads. But the entire rattle spring right here and these two securing clips were in the package with those brake pads. So I have no doubt the owner will be happy with this setup and he will not have problems on these long downhills 
when you have to brake for long periods of time there will be no overheating these are ceramic brake pads and this kit will perfectly work for him what do you think my friend did this repair saved his problems i hope you like that i hope you agree that was the right choice instead of resurfacing those old rusty rotors if you like the video please give it a thumb up and be subscribe i have way more coming your way soon thank you for watching for supporting this channel and i will catch you later alligator